Welcome, everybody. My name is Rob Thomas. I'm a BG5 enthusiast. I'm a certified consultant. I do have a consulting practice and uh, really excited to have a conversation with you, whether you're watching this live or you're watching this on replay, either on our Facebook or our YouTube channel. Really quickly, for those of you that are just coming across this and you have no idea what BG5 is, let me tell you what that is really quickly. It is, uh, BG5 is the career and business application of the human design system. So I love doing these conversations and I love doing interviews. I have interviews with all kinds of people in our community and I do that so that we can all get to know each other and have a, a tighter knit community and see uh, the different types of people that are in the community and then what professions are coming to this, etc. Always fun to do. And so today I have the privilege and honor to interview Veronica Chase. She comes to the BG5 community with 20 years of experience and expertise in learning and development in the corporate world. And currently she is the head of learning and development for the largest garden in the United States. So with that, hello, Veronica. Hello, and hello, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. So what I'd like to begin learning more and giving everyone the opportunity to, to, to learn more about is your professional background. Can you share a little bit about that with us? Yeah, absolutely. So I started out in the field, actually, of um, of radio and TV, and I ultimately made my way um, into corporate learning and, as you mentioned, have been in that field for some time now. So corporate learning and development, um, at least in my experience, has really been about leadership development, management skills. I've done a lot of facilitation of team building, a lot of coaching, whether it's with one-on-one -on -one, uh, and one-on-one scenarios or with groups and um, have designed a lot of learning. So it's quite you know, a variety of areas that I've been involved in over the years. Wow, wow. Yeah, it's fascinating. You know, learning and development is, it's, so it's very much what we do here at the Institute, right? We train coaches and consultants and counselors and career changers to help them add this to their practice or just completely change their lives professionally and go out and, and help the world using this information. I'd be curious to learn more from your perspective as a learning and development expert. Um, I'd like to learn more about what brought you to BG5 and, and then given your learning and development background, how BG5 kind of folds into this and complements it. Yeah, well, Rob, you definitely know about my beginning with BG5. <laughs> Um, I definitely had a moment where I thought, how do I not know about human design and BG5? Because, I mean, yes, I've been in the field of learning and development, but I've also done a ton of my own uh, professional development and personal development and, you know, self-awareness work um, and empowerment over the years. So I was just surprised that I had never come across it, but that's how it is, right? We know what we know, and then suddenly we're introduced to something else, and it's like a whole new light bulb goes off. So I took the course and um, started learning more about human design and BG5 and had a coaching session with you. And that really, it connected so perfectly into what I do. Um, you know, I mean, one of the things about learning and development is that, I mean, just by the nature of that work, I mean, I used many, many assessments over the years. And I've heard other people in, in the BG5 community talk about this. I mean, I have certifications in MBTI, DISC, and Change Style Indicator, and many, many other things and tools that I have used over the years. Um, but I always felt like it just, they only ever took us so far. I would notice that a person, you know, still couldn't quite get their career going where they wanted or get to the next step. I mean, I was able to help them in certain ways, but I always felt like there was a bit of a ceiling or a bit of a limit or we'd encounter a door, if you will, or we just couldn't quite get past this thing. And what I'm now recognizing is that, and I think why I'm so drawn to this is, you know, this really the whole idea behind BG5 um, is the science of differentiation. I mean, we all do bring, you know, something special to the equation. It's just that we usually don't know what that is. It takes us a lifetime to figure it out. And BG5 really acts as that 
you know, really incredible map. So I just see, you know, the work that I'm doing heading in a whole new direction because of this. Wow. Beautifully put, Veronica. You know, one of the things that, that you and I shared, and, and I was so um, eager and excited for you to enter into this. And then, of course, as you progress through this, hear more about your experience because, one, you're an L&D expert, yeah. right? You've got two yeah. decades in, in doing this for corporations, lots of people. And then when I heard that you were certified and had used profoundly um, so many of the other super, super popular systems, I was really, really excited to, to see, you know, well, so first, when, you know, when we met and we, we talked about this, uh, you were excited, I was excited, and then you asked me some really good questions. You know, you wanted to know, how is this really different? What, what can this really provide? And, and so here you are now, you've finished your first semester ever of any BG5 study that you've done. It's yeah. called the foundation course. Um, so can you share more about what made you want to take the foundation course after our conversation? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think my experience is that, you know, now that door for me opened and I didn't just peek through, I like pushed it in, you know, so it was like, well, what's in here? I've got to know, like, what is in this room? And, you know, the Foundations course was really a great experience. There were people from all over the world in that course and the instructors were so great about, you know, constantly putting people's designs in front of us and we would talk through them step by step because I have to say at the beginning I thought how am I ever it just seems like an ocean uh, you know kind of, of information so many aspects of things to learn which is exciting but it, it can be a little in, in I think intimidating and overwhelming because you think well how am I going to get, you know, kind of through all of this. Now, part of this is um, I am a classic builder, and that's part of, you know, what you really go through and learn in the course. As a classic builder, I like going through things step by step. It doesn't mean I like it to be long and drawn out. I just like an order to things because I do move fast through content and material and experiences and learning. So I liked the pace and the demands of the course and the way that we went through in this kind of methodical fashion. Wow, yeah, so <laughs> I'm glad to hear that it's going well in your first semester, and you're right, this is an ocean of information. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that you will find out, and of course anyone else uh, who's listening, who's you know looking at this as a possibility, um, the way that the director, Karen Sherwood, has lined this out is, it's excellent. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, it's one of those things where no student is left behind. The way that she lays it out, you're building one onto the next, onto the next, onto the next. And so it just, at the end, here you are with, well, you look back and, and essentially, I'll just use uh, a term that we hear in the workplace all the time. You look back and you've eaten the elephant, right? Yes. Yeah. So, Wow. Well, you know, it, it clearly looks like you're enjoying it. So that makes me happy as well. Yeah. Um, what was your, this is always hard. So if, if, if it's not one thing and it's several things, feel free to share. But I'm curious to know, as you look back on your semester, were, was there any big aha or were there a couple of things that just really knocked you over? Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah there's definitely a lot. <laughs> um, I mean, even just understanding things like, um, you know, my aura type and the way things are drawn into me. I mean, I, I know it's like, it's this, um, this awareness that builds when you realize, I know what we're talking about here. My gosh, I've experienced this a bunch of times, but I really didn't understand why that was happening or even consider that other people have other types of auras and other types of styles. Um, so just, you know, that whole thing of continuing to build my own awareness and consciousness about really who I am and how I move through the world uh, is exciting. I, it definitely helped me to link back to a lot of prior experiences. Like for example, you know, one of the aspects of my design is, um, you know, 
wait to respond, but then respond with my gut. For me, it's very much in the now. I don't have to wait or feel it out. I just need to clearly feel it in the moment. And I can think of so many times in the past, Rob, where I was pushing, pushing, pushing for the thing I wanted. And, you know, I might have gotten it, but it came with a price. Always. It came with a price every time. And for a long time, I just never really understood, well, why is it happening this way? Aren't I doing all the right things? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Being the go-getter, doing this, doing that. But actually, it's not, that's not my design. And really you know, embracing kind of the best qualities of who I am, I can really see now how the potential for more success in my career and just, you know, almost just like more authenticity in myself, like that possibility is really there when you truly know yourself. And I really think that's what everyone wants. I've worked with so many people over the years. And I feel like, you know, that's really what people are trying to get to, right? Who am I? How do I understand myself? How do I be successful in my career, in my life, and have these, you know, great experiences in life? And it really comes down to knowing your design. This is the key <laughs> to, you know, to move forward in a, in, in a whole different way. Yes, for sure. So you, you said a lot of cool things there, too, that I picked up on. Um, you know, the fact that people, all they really want to know is, you know, how am I made to, to work? How am I made to succeed? How am I made to live? Yeah. And like you um, and, and so many others that, that are probably watching this right now who might have done another assessment system that felt kind of dropped off, right? Or, or maybe even further homogenized, meaning that they were just put in another bucket, whether it was four letters or a color or a personality name. Right you know, one of 16 different strengths or whatever, Yeah. Um, you know, what's offered in BG5 versus everything else that's out there, it's just, it's light years ahead of all the systems. Yeah. I, um, like you, have also experienced a lot of these, maybe not to the depth, but, but yeah, I mean, and, and I don't know if you got to the part in the course yet where they talk about the number of different um, number of different possible career designs that there are on the planet right now uh, or that are possible period it's a 55 digit number I was going to say it, it would have to be an immense number <laughs> it is and I don't even know what that is like yeah. I, after trillion I'm, I'm out so yeah yeah it's, the combinations are incredible yeah. yeah well I'm excited for you you've completed your First semester foundation you're moving on to the next you've already had some really really life-changing ahas yeah and so um, I hope that when you complete your second semester of foundation that we can have another conversation would you be open to that absolutely great thank you yeah well so everybody there it is you heard directly from Veronica Chase she's a 20-year expert in learning and development in the corporate world She's stepped into the community of BG5. She's having a great experience. She's learned Foundation One. You know her as a classic builder. If you want to know what career type you are, I'll put a link below and you can get a free report and begin there and you can learn more about your career type. And of course, just look for more videos on the Facebook uh, page for the BG5 Business Institute. And we also have a YouTube page. So with that, Veronica, thank you so much for giving me your time today. You're welcome. Thank you, Rob. All right. Take care. All right. You too.